the thing is, the reason why I feel like, you know, African-Americans commit so many crimes is because they want materialistic items. They're not really stealing shit that they need. They're stealing shit that they could flip or stealing materialistic items. That's what I think is going on. I'm going to tell you two reasons how you fix the African-American problem as far as stealing and everything like that. I got you one. I'm going to say this again. One to give every. So since we want reparations so much, when I'm saying us, I'm speaking for black people. I don't rob stores at all. But let me tell you something. When I was 10 years old, I did used to steal. Why? Because I didn't get what I wanted growing up. So I did used to have, I did, was I was on some ball rock shit when I was like 10 through 12. But obviously I, obviously I evolved. You see what I'm saying? If I got what I wanted and my, and my parents made sure that I was living a, a great, like, you know, I was living that, that fucking richy rich life or something like that, where I just, if I didn't want for anything, I wouldn't have stole. You get what I mean? And what did I go steal? What did I try to go steal? video games, you know, materialistic shit. I didn't go steal loaves of bread and a fucking gallon of milk. I went stealing fucking video games. It's always materialistic shit. That's all black people want is materialistic items at the end of the fucking day. So here's how you, here's how, here's how you fix it. I'm telling you, if, if you do a social experiment, my kids would never steal because they would have everything they wanted. And also my kids would be biracial. So there would be less Balrog energy in the first fucking place. Why would you steal when I'm giving you everything? Anyways, um, so here's how you fix the shit is you give every black person a Gucci or Prada or high designer card of a thousand dollars per month. Give give them a card that they could go blow on any Gucci designer, or whatever type of shit as a form of reparation. On top of that, um, you do this as well. Sorry, guys, I'm giving you the harsh truth. I'm not going to pander for my own ethnicity when we just can't get our shit together. My wife is going to be black. No, absolutely not. <clears throat> the fuck, you know, like I'm not going to live a boring ass life where I'm going home and fucking a black pussy. It's just not happening. Any black man in here, I recommend you don't do the same. Your life's going to be fucking miserable. You're going to go home to somebody that favors your sister or your fucking mom or some shit like that. Unless you're fucking with a biracial black chick, the shit's boring. I'm not going to go home and fuck somebody that could look like an immediate family member, a, a far cousin. Or, that shit boring, bro. I got to worry about weavage, wiggage, lace fronts, attitude, bullshit. Don't want to build with me. Like, I'm cool. I'm straight. I'm fucking with a woman of culture. A woman of culture would be a Latina. A woman of culture would be a Middle Eastern. A woman of culture would be an Asian. I'll even take a Becky if that's the case. Anything but a ball raw get. I do not want to be miserable. Black men and black women together in relationships, nine times out of 10 are miserable. You ever see a black couple in person? They always look miserable. I'd be, I'd be seeing them argue in a cereal aisle. They got attitudes, all that type of shit. A black man that goes home to a Latina or something like that, man, they can't wait till they go home. It's just different. We don't got, we don't have the culture to have a healthy relationship. That's just the problem. sisters from the motherland they don't count we're talking about african-american black women we're not talking about africans and shit we're not talking about jamaicans any of that we're talking about african-american women that's what i'm talking about when i say black women, I'm, talk I'm, I'm an african-american guy i'm talking about african-american women who should be with african-american women caucasian men asian men hispanic men Y'all pick up our slack for us. We, we dealt with it for too long. They love you guys better anyway. A black woman is going to cherish a white guy like crazy. A black woman is going to cherish an Asian man like crazy. A black woman is going to cherish an Hispanic man like crazy. Because it's different. So y'all fuck with them. They're going to respect you more. They get a kid with good hair, blah, blah, blah. Like, well, I know how the game works. I'm black. But me personally, like I said, I think it's weird. If I'm a white guy, I'm only fucking with a white woman because my genes are already, you know, my genes are not really recessive like that. So any chick I fuck with outside of white ain't going to look like me. So I'm only fucking, I'm only fucking my, my own ethnicity. But if I'm, if I'm something else, it doesn't really matter. As a white guy, I literally would never, I would never mix ethnicities if I was a white guy. It just... 
genetically, scientifically, it wouldn't make sense. You said I reached a sub goal? Did I? Are we at 4K? Now, anything I'm saying, guys, nothing I'm saying here is, is racist. I'm giving you the raw truth about the inner linings of how black American quote unquote culture works. You say your dad is black, your mom's Asian, they didn't get along. I'm not saying they it's always gonna work like that, but um was your dad a ball rock by any chance? Was he like was he like my style of a black? Proper punctuation, um, non confrontational, not a yelling, screaming guy. Nigga, I just cut on the fucking game and niggas keep teabagging me, right? Like, nigga, play the game, you bitch ass fag! Every time I cut on the game! In this game, right? I don't know what the fuck is up with gaming creators. You dumbass. Let me tell you something. You dumbass niggas that created Namco, you're fucking retards. Capcom, you're fucking retards, you dumbass niggas. Right? Make it so that I can see who the fuck I am playing before I press ready on my game. I don't want to have to play the same niggas every time I cut on the game I pay for. Put the option back in games. I cut on my goddamn, every time I cut on a fighting game, a faggot ass nigga, a fucking tear sexual ass nigga. Yeah, I said faggot. Cause you gotta be gay to keep stream slapping me at every game. You gay ass niggas, I cut on KI. Nigga stream slapping me, I cut on Tekken. Nigga stream slapping me, I cut on Street Fighter. Nigga stream slapping me, I cut on Soul Calibur. Nigga stream I strike me, I cut on MK11. Nigga stream snipe me every time I cut on the game! Only game you niggas can't stream snipe is other games because you gotta pay to play me! We'll just call it the Michael B. Jordan archetype. Was he that style of a guy? <clears throat> was my dad a ball rock by any chance? Nah, I wouldn't say he was a ball rock, but he's just like a regular black man, if that makes any sense. But definitely not like a Will Smith type or anything. We talking about like, you know, when they talk like, I mean, damn, like, shit, these, these women out here going crazy. Like, like that unk style energy. Um, I have black friends. I've only been betrayed in life by black people. Um, as far as like people I've trusted outside of girlfriends and shit like that. Um, I've only had fighting interactions, combat with black people. I've only been scammed by black people. I've only been stolen from by black people. I've only been made fun of by black people growing up. Any other friend that I had that wasn't black growing up, they never made fun of me. All the black people did. I was too tall. I talked too white. I was too light skinned. And I don't really consider myself light skinned. I'm a good peanut butter. Um, you're you're soft. You're not hood enough, so on and so forth. Oh yeah. I, I wasn't wearing Jordans. I forgot. I didn't wear Jordans. Uh you don't have you don't have any gear. AKA like swag and clothes. Um but let me tell you what, all those people that made fun of me, I'm doing way better than you. I'm more important in life than you. All you niggas are all fat. You're short. You have a bunch of kids. You're useless. You're stuck in simulation. I'm not. Ever been told I sound white? Yup. I've been told by, by black chicks, you look like, you sound like you date white girls. You sound like you don't date black women. I'd be like, on the contrary, you're correct, but I don't see how the fuck I would sound like that because I I speak with proper punctuation. Now, mind you guys, the reason why I could say I don't fuck with black chicks anymore is because I've dated so many black women. It's not even funny. 
Like there was a time where I was like anti anything but black women, but it was just too toxic for me. I was getting uppercut, right hook, left hook, slapped, scratched, cussed out, shit destroyed. I said, you know what? I'm out of this bitch. Combination inside the finish line. It was just too toxic for me, man. It was too toxic for me. I'm not going to sit over here and lie to you and say I haven't had toxic relationships with women that aren't black. But if I'm going to have a toxic relationship with a woman that's not black, at least I'm not dealing with fake wig wiggage and weavage at the same time. At least there's real, at least she's going to look cute when she yells. Like, I don't have to do, like, maybe she might say some shit in Spanish. It doesn't look like it's my mom yelling at me, my sister yelling at me, my cousin yelling at me. So it's different. It is different. I wouldn't know. Yeah, it do hit different. My mods know what it is, bro. We we clip you niggas out of the chat very quickly. Poof and you're a peon and gone. Anybody that comes to my stream will let you know right now. Anybody that comes to my stream asking me what I'm going to play, Street Fighter, you're banned. Anybody that comes in my stream talking about I'm yapping your band. My title says just chatting. You don't want to see me just chat. Get the fuck out. You type in my chat. If it's going to kill you to text something in my chat, if you really want to get banned, you're banned, bro. Street Fighter really ruins the essence of the stream.